There's no song today. Sorry. What's up socials, happy sexy Wednesday. Today I wanna to talk to you about Twitter and the unbelievable possibilities that there are by using its search function. You know how we're always talking about how it's so sexy to listen and engage and all that kind of stuff and then you go there and you're like, okay, so now what do I do? I'm listening, I'm listening, I'm typing, these people are already, okay, so now what? Really understanding the possibilities with Twitter search and how it can get you in front of the right audiences to grow organically to an audience that will appreciate the content and information and products that you provide is very key. So we're actually gonna go over to the computer today so I can show you a little bit more hands-on, a really cool trick that will help you find exactly what you're looking for even though you have no idea what that is until you get there. <laughs> That's the beauty of social media. So we're here on Twitter, uh, the main platform. We're not using any third-party options at this time because this site itself offers a lot of possibilities. Guys, come on, stop asking me for shortcuts and just go to the source. Okay, so where you wanna go is search.twitter.com. That's where we're getting this page. And we're gonna look for this link, the advanced search. By coming here, you have a lot of options. And the reason that I made this video is I was working with a client the other day that really inspired me because we were kind of going over ideas of things that their particular audience might be talking about and uh, how they could get involved in those conversations. And what they are is like a health and wellness company. They have a product that helps you recover. And so we were trying to think of what people would be talking about should they be in recovery, right? So if you think about it, if you just finished a workout, then you might be really tired or maybe you don't have the energy to work out because you're really tired. So you can see some keywords there that we are really compelled by. So what we're gonna do is kind of pop them in here. What I like to do is I, I always put them in quotes. I don't know why, I just, it's just my thing. So I'm gonna put workout. And the key here is to have both terms in the statement because if I just search the word workout, Good Lord, who knows how much crap I'm going to get. I mean, a lot. I, there's going to be a lot of good stuff, but mixed in with a lot of noise. Because there's a lot of workout instructors and health and wellness companies talking about workouts. So I really just want to hear from the consumer. I'm going to put the word and here because I'm adding this other variable. And the variable is tired. Now, the reason why I'm picking this, and I didn't mean to capitalize that, um, is because I want to talk to somebody who's not feeling particularly wonderful about it because they might need a little bit of help with recovery. So we're not gonna use any other fields here. It's not a brick and mortar shop, so I'm not really worried about location. But what I really like is this section here. I wanna solidify that I'm going to get results of a particular mood and thank the Lord goodness for these little smiley faces and frowny faces because I want the frowny face, right? If somebody's tired, they didn't get their workout in or they just worked out, they're probably sad facing all over the place because they've run out of energy. So we're gonna do this search. Get past a little bit of this here. And here we go, we have some really great results. Alessi says, was gonna do a workout, but I'm so tired and it's late. That's absolutely something to work with there. Half excited to work out, half not. I need motivation. Hey, hello, invitation for motivation, and there's an Instagram link, so that's something that possibly our Instagram presence can get it, you know, some action on. Uh, what is wrong with me today? I feel so down today and tired, gonna work out and see if that helps. There's so much you can do with all of these results by just being motivating, being a human behind the brand. Maybe you have an ulterior motive, but you're not asking these people to buy anything. You just wanna be involved in relevant conversation. And if it's making somebody feel better because you're giving them this little boost that you believe in them, then that's really fun social conversation to get involved in. So this is just one really good Good study of how you can take advantage of Twitter advanced search so if you haven't gone over there and really started to think about what your ideal customer is talking about then you might be very pleasantly surprised 
That's all for today's socials. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. For more marketing lifestyle goodness, make sure you subscribe in the annotation below. The link's also in the description or of course on SavvySexySocial.com if you're watching over there. I appreciate everyone's lovely feedback from my first ever music video that I posted yesterday, which is also linked on this screen in case you would like to endure. So the key takeaway keep in mind was to buy the book. I highly, highly recommend it. Literally, if they created a book that had just enough words, but mostly pictures that could help you understand social media, this is it. Gary pulled it off for you. So you should totally get it. Great information. Uh, again, link in the description, but make sure you tweet with me at Schmatastic and at Savvy Sexy Social, and I'll see you tomorrow for Social Thursday.